Hey everybody, it's the Musical Gamer. Welcome to this little bit of an update after E3. I hope you all had a wonderful and fantastically fun-filled E3 season. I know that the uh, show floor is now open and it's not really over, but all the press conferences are. And, I mean, I just wanted to share my thoughts on it and then give you guys a quick update after that. But, I mean, uh, E3, holy crap. Uh, Microsoft showed some really good, some really good new titles. Uh, in the beginning there. I'm also pretty excited about that rare, the, uh, the, the rare revisited package or whatever they called it. The 30 titles for 30 bucks. I, I love the rare games. I love Conker's Bad Fur Day. I love Banjo-Kazooie. I love stuff like that. And I was really interested in the new game that they showed. Uh, that looked sort of kind of like a, a piratey MMO something or other, or just multiplayer experience. I don't really know what to describe it. I don't even remember if they had a name for it or not. My my, my mind is shot from the other day. <laughs> um, but the... Oh, man, Sony. I could not believe the things they were dropping. The whole... Uh, the whole Final Fantasy VII remake just blew my mind. I, I had a feeling they'd do it eventually, but the fact that they announced it and just the way that whole opening scene looked with with Cloud and Barrett and the whole city of Midgar, oh, that just that just brought back so many memories of me playing the original. Oh, I cannot wait to see that come out. Uh, no Man's Sky looked really interesting too. I'm a I'm a huge sci-fi guy. I love those new uh, sci-fi uh, free to explore type things. The whole every little blip is a new unit or a new solar system in this enormous sandbox world type thing. You get lost doing that kind of stuff for hours. I know I could. Uh, I'd love to hear more about that. I, I don't really know much else though, other than the exploration and transmitting data and all that stuff. It, it looks cool to me, but I'd like to hear hear more about that. Though I will say this, Sony, get, get on your game with the whole backwards compatibility thing with the PS4 and the PS3. I mean, Microsoft did it, but you know, that begs the question. Why the hell, if, because this is apparently, as far as I'm aware, is just a patch. Uh, you don't need to buy a whole new console, you don't need to buy some peripheral or anything like that. It's just being patched into the system. Why the hell is it happening now? Why didn't they, like, start with it or launch with it or anything like that? What, did they just think the demand for <laughs> being backwards compatible wasn't high enough? Because I know that's not true. That was one of the biggest complaints about the PlayStation 3, the newer models, and uh, I know that uh, Microsoft got a lot of flack in hearing the X1 wasn't going to be compatible with 360 and uh, prior titles, but now it is, and if, if they could just patch it into their stuff, I'm assuming Sony could, I mean, I don't know what the architecture or the insides of those things are like, but I, I would assume that maybe Sony could do something similar. So you know what, Sony, get on that. Uh, that would be just a good boon to you guys. And Nintendo, I I don't really know what to say. Uh, Nintendo blew me personally out of the water last year at E3 with all of those huge announcements for what was going on. But you know, this year just kind of left me feeling just lukewarm about the whole thing. I don't know. There there was no big punch. There was no huge thing. Most of the stuff we saw was stuff we already knew about. And I know that there's been a couple of people are saying the same things I am, but, you know, I agree with them. It's kind of... Ugh. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's the, the, some cool stuff. I felt like they the whole focus on E3 for them this year, including at the World Championships, which were awesome, by the way. But the whole, a huge focus for them this E3 was on Mario Maker. And, you know, it's just like, yeah, cool, we, we get it. Mario Maker. It does look cool, and I'd really love to do levels of that or something, record them, stream them. Uh, speaking of which, I'm actually thinking of getting to streaming, though, but, you know, more on that. More on that in a minute. Um, but it, it just it just felt like that was their huge focus, and we saw stuff like, you know, Yoshi's Woolly, Woolly, uh, Woolly World and the new Star Fox game, which, you know, both look really cool. I mean, Yoshi's Woolly World looks really cute, and Star Fox, we haven't had a actual real Star Fox entry in a while. So that was awesome. Um, a couple new things, like the new Zelda title for the 3DS, which looks interesting. I'd love to get a co-op so or something like that going. Maybe when it comes out, if it looks good. But, you know, there, there wasn't really anything that wowed me. And it kind of sucks. Uh, I don't know. Uh, my bar was kind of set high for Nintendo, I guess, because of everything they did last year, and this year they just kind of sat back a bit, which is kind of disappointing, but, well, 
<sighs> Who knows? You win some, you lose some. Uh, we got some new information about Kingdom Hearts 3, which was really nice in the Square Enix press conference. Uh, well, I say new information, it's really just a new trailer. But at least it looks like development is going on on that, but, um... I, I missed the first portions of the Square Enix, uh, press conference, but I, I, I didn't see anything mentioned about Final Fantasy XV, which kind of confused me. I've, I have been eagerly awaiting any sort of news about Final Fantasy XV, um, but, you know, all they seem to really talk about were new Final Fantasy things, like there's a Final Fantasy Wikia, uh, there's a new Final Fantasy, uh, the world of Final Fantasy, something like that, that they're making for PS4 and PS Vita. They, they, they look interesting, but, you know, I, I want the I want the meat, I want the, the big things, I want Final Fantasy XV, I want this, I want more information about this goddamn, uh, FF7 remake. But, no. Either way, th these are just my impressions on E3. I hope you guys had a fantastic E3. I know I did. This is the first year I ever really watched the entire conference, uh, in the, you know, live. I always kind of just recapped on it after it would pass, because I'd always either forget about it, or I would be away or busy during the time that it was going on. But this year, I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sit myself down. I'm gonna make sure I watch as many of these conferences as I can. I'm happy I got to see the... The, uh, the big three press conferences, I got to see part of the Bethesda conference, I saw most of the Square Enix conference. It was good. It was a lot of fun. And the Nintendo World Championships. I hope that they make that uh, a more uh, <laughs> annual thing, or at least more consistent, you know, not once every 25 freaking years. Because that was just a lot of fun. That, that would be... I'd love to do something like that. That just looked like the most fun you could have uh, in the world, being up on that stage and versing all these people in both competitive and not competitive games in a competitive manner. I thought that was really interesting. Like, balloon fight? Really? <laughs> that was not what I was expecting. Uh, I saw Smash, I saw Splatoon going up there, but, you know, that, uh, that race, Metroid, oh my god, that kept me on the edge of my seat. Uh, well, anyway... Enough of me ranting about E3 or rambling on about it. It was it was awesome. We'll just leave it at that. Really looking forward to the stuff coming out in the next year or two. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles X, that as well. Glad we finally have a release date. But anyway, I have a quick little announcement to make as well. Um, I hope you guys have stuck around to hear this because it's kind of important. I will be actually going away on uh, Thursday. Uh, well, Friday really. I'll be leaving Thursday night. But I'll be gone for about 12 or so days. I'll be leaving from the 18th to basically July 1st, June 30th, around there. Uh, I'm actually gonna be in Europe. I'm gonna be heading over to Germany. I'm going to be heading into uh, areas of uh, Switzerland, Italy, and Austria with my family. We're going on a bit of a vacation. Um, so I will be away. I, I will try to have some stuff uploaded so that maybe I can just press the button if I can to publish it while I'm over there. But odds are, uh, uploads are going to be just a little slow if I can do that, but if I can't do that, then there's not going to be really much going on on the channel until pretty much uh, the 1st of July, which we will resume everything in full. Uh, sorry about that, I, I had meant to actually s explain this leave of absence earlier, but you know, things just kept getting in the way, and then E3, and I figured, well, I'll just do a, my E3 kind of recap and my own opinions on it, as well as this little bit of an update. So I figured I'll to let you guys know that's going on. Um, I'll be, maybe, maybe I'll be taking some uh, videos over there, maybe some vlogs if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like that of me and my European travels. Uh, I will most gladly upload them and publish them on YouTube for you guys to see. Uh, let me know about that in the comments. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, check out my Patreon, check out my Twitter, and hopefully, well not hopefully, I will see you guys when I get back. I'm not gonna die over there oh god please no but i will see you guys when i get back from vacation uh we've just got a few days to go till i'm gone and i hope to see all of you back here <laughs> awkward <laughs> awkward ending for the win this is the musical gamer signing off hope you guys had a great e3 i'll see you guys in a few weeks catch you guys then